Welcome back to Teresa's Dad. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. And if you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage mouth where I tend to use fuck as a comma. If you're not into that or weird shit in general, bitch, this is not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. If you want to jump straight to the overall haul and recommendations, I'll leave a time code down below. Feel free to jump ahead. Guys, I'm going to keep this very brief because um, I don't feel very well and I'm so bored. I just want to like just do a video and talk about the shit that I got. But I thought I had allergies. Turns out I don't. I have bronchitis. <laughs> That's fun. I had to do like a whole x-ray, nebulizer treatment. It was a lot of fun. In any case, on Monday I had a vacation day and I actually was on Instagram and I was like, guys, you know, I don't feel well. I don't know, maybe I should go to the mall. I want to go to Sephora and Everyone was like, bitch, go to support. And I was like, all right, awesome. I'm going to go because I love peer pressure. Head to the mall. And I went to this particular mall, which is the Queen Center Mall. They have two Sephora's in there. They have like a normal Sephora store. And then they have like a Sephora and a JCPenney's. So I go to the regular Sephora. It was fine. Everyone left me alone. I think they could sense that I was sick. So nobody bothered me, purchased my shit. And then I went to JCPenney's. As I was in JCPenney's, I was probably like walking around there for like 20 minutes or so. And the store, or it's not even really a store. It's like a fucking weird kiosk area in the middle of JCPenney's. There there was two sales associates and just, you know, maybe like two or three other women in there. One of the sales associates went on break. This other girl was helping a woman who I want to say is probably in her late 40s, early 50s. I get what I want to get and then I'm, I get in line and I'm sitting at the counter for about five minutes. I hear the sales associate say like, oh honey, are you ready to check out? I said, yeah. Said, oh, I'm really sorry for the wait. I was like, oh, don't worry about it. I have nowhere to be and I was just, you know, just looking at stuff. Don't worry about it. So as she was ringing my stuff up, asking me like, did I find everything okay and blah, 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 giving me nothing but amazing customer service. Service. This fucking lady, who was the one that was being helped by the sales associate, puts out her little Sephora basket and says, I thought I was going to be rung up. Fuck you, bitch. Get, like, just because you get help somewhere doesn't necessarily mean that you are the front of the line. Like, go fuck yourself. So I just look at her, I kind of roll my eyes, and I just look back at the sales associate, and then I start asking her about the Rouge sale. So the lady on the side of me again goes, I thought I was going to be rung up. So then I turned to her and said, do you want me to void out my whole order, get in the back of the line so you can go first, even though I was the first in line? And she didn't say anything because she can't say anything because she's being a stupid bitch. I go back, I start talking to the girl again. And I said, hey, you know, with the Sephora Rochelle, I'm like, you guys participate in it, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Do you have your shopping pass on you? And I said, what? Do you have, like, the little barcode thing? No, because when I went to the other Sephora, they just scanned my phone for like the Rouge ID thing. Oof, no. When you're in a JCPenney Sephora, we don't operate the same way. You, we need the actual pass for you to get the discount. Fuck. So the fucking lady next to me goes, I have my shopping pass. So I just turned to her and I smiled and I said, good for you. <laughs> I just looked back at the sales associate. That's so great because, you know, actually she could use your pass as well. Because if you notice, it's actually for you and your friend. Do you have anybody that's here with you? No, I'm shopping by myself. Okay, well I could scan that and you both get the same 20% discount. Hmm. So now I'm like, fuck. Like, I know I already like fucking yelled at the lady for being an asshole. But now I'm like, pfft. Do I apologize for that 20% off? No, because it's not worth it. She was being an unruly bitch. Fuck her. So I kind of just like looked at her and I looked back at the sales associate. I wasn't going to say anything. I was like, whatever. And so the sales associate took the, the shopping pass and showed her again, like the little fine print saying that like it's for you and a friend, you get the same discount. So the lady goes, oh, I see. But so we both get the same discount because, you know, I would hate for her to get my discount, even though it's my shopping pass, you know, because I'm nice, but I'm not that nice. So I was about to turn to her and go, fuck you and your fucking shopping pass. But luckily the sales associate could see that the anger was boiling inside me and she just scanned it really fast. <laughs> So she did me a solid, gave it back to the lady, and she goes, Yep, you can use it, don't worry about it. And then the woman again says, Yeah, because you know, I thought I was going to be rung up first. And I, I literally almost took one of the cover FX blushes and just beat her to death with it. Because it's like, shut the fuck up, you stupid, nasty bitch. Hey, people. In any case, I got my 20% off. <laughs> but I was actually willing to walk away from it. Because it, honestly, it wasn't even worth the hassle. Anyway, that was my fun experience at the Sephora Rouge sale. Just a little heads up. If you are going to JCPenney's, make sure you have that little shopping pass thing. Because otherwise, you will not get your discount. So, good to know. Okay, on today's video, we're going to keep this very light. Uh, it is a, a shopping haul 
basically because it was a Sephora Rouge sale and I actually initially wasn't going to be doing one of these videos. I'm sick <laughs> and uh, I need something to do because I'm really bored. So should I do my recommendations first? No, I'm gonna, you know what? No, I'm gonna do this. First. I'm gonna show you all the shit that I bought in here, which it's a lot of stuff because you bitch went ham. All the information about the sale is gonna be linked down below because I can't spit it out verbatim and I don't care enough to. Just remember to always have your shopping pass with you if you are not going to an actual Sephora store. Otherwise you will not be able to get the discounts just in case for those who did not listen to my story time. That's just your heads up there. So in any case, these are the things that I purchased during the Rouge sale. The first thing I got was the Tatcha water cream. I love this shit. This is probably my favorite moisturizer of all time and it's $68 and it makes me sick to my fucking stomach how much I love this thing. Being that I knew the sale was coming up, I decided to pick up a backup one. I have very sensitive skin and after using this for a prolonged period of time, my skin looks softer and smoother and it's super hydrated and it's all thanks to this. The second thing I got was from Dominique Cosmetics. This is the second thing I have from the brand. The first thing is actually from, I believe it was a boxy charm. I got one of her lip glosses. I've been lusting over this palette for so long now and I actually heard that this is the best palette out of all her palettes. Something about these colors are just giving me pumpkin spice latte fall vibes and I love it. They're very creamy, very pigmented. Ugh, oh, bitch, I love that. Oh. Oh my God, I can't wait to play with this stuff. Like I mentioned, I've been kind of lusting over this palette for a little bit. Oh, that blue, fuck me up. That's with like one finger swatch too. So I'm planning on doing like a retro review about this palette since it's already been out for a little bit. You know, so just in case if you've been on the fence about this brand, kind of want to let you know what the real tea is, uh, if it's worth getting or not. I felt like this was probably the perfect time to pick this up during the Sephora Rouge sale and um, yeah, not disappointed. So the next two products are from Copper FX and they are the monochromatic blushes. You know, when these first came out, I was like, they're cute, but whatever. But then, I don't know, I think I just saw a video recently, Tara Lynn going over her recommendations. She mentioned these and I was like, fuck, I need to get them. Unfortunately, they're sold out everywhere. You can't really find them except for I think like maybe Ulta online. So I went and I looked up in Sephora, every color was sold out with the exception of one. However, they showed that they had the Mojave Mauve in JCPenney's. Lo and behold, they also actually had the soft peach one, which is the one that I was a little bit more excited about. But so I am super excited to fucking play with these. Packaging alone is super stunning. It's so pretty. Oh, it's just like such a soft peach color. And I love the little shimmer. Oh my God, that's so fucking nice. That is so pretty. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I love it. And then the Mojave Mauve. You know, when I saw this, I thought of my mom. My mom likes these kind of more pinky purpley blushes. And I was like, oh, I miss my mom. Let me go pick one up for her in her honor. I would go pick her up one, but she would never use it though. She's one of those people that likes to admire makeup from afar. Yeah, my mom's funny. Like when we go to these makeup shows or whatever, she'll buy makeup and then she winds up never using them. Cause my mom just likes buying stuff and looking at it. You're crazy bitch. But I love her though. That's pretty. That's like fucking Barbie pink. That's cute. Favorite is more of the peach side, but I think if you kind of sheer out the pink, it doesn't look as Barbie Annabelle doll-esque. I'm so excited to fucking play with these. If you actually run into a Sephora and you do see them, I invite you to go like swatch them and check them out. Honestly, this is probably the perfect time to pick them up during this kind of a sale because these little fuckers retail for almost $40 a piece, so. Yeah. The next thing I picked up is the Jackie Ina palette. So when this came out, I was lusting over this palette, but then I thought about it and I looked at it a little bit more and I was like, you know, it kind of looks like a best of palette in my opinion. It looks like a combination of the last few Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. And I was like, I don't know. Do I really fucking need that? When I went to go pick up, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to fucking open this and it's just like not, not working today. When I went to go get, pick up the Fenty, foundation when it first came out. They didn't even have these out, these palettes. I didn't even at that point have time to swatch any of them. Let me tell you something first off. Packaging is fucking awesome. It's really pretty. And I think the color story in person is so much fucking nicer. It's so much nicer than what it looks like online. The shade Trust Issues and Sponsored are the two shades that really sold me on this palette. Because what's interesting about Trust Issues is that it kind of changes the appearance of other shadows when you use that on top of it. So let me just show you Sponsored. Uh, I love that situation. These are so beautifully pigmented. Dollars. Ugh, you bitch. I love that. Trust Issues by itself could also double for me as like a highlight, which I really like. I'm gonna put Trust Issues. See how it kind of changes the look of the shadow when you put Trust Issues on it? Supreme. That's 
fucking gorgeous. Big wig purples are usually very difficult to make. Uh, okay, yeah, those are fucking stunning. Quality on these, I feel like, are a little bit different. They kind of like you can just make kind of green goldy shine to it. I love that. So I think that's why I really like wanted to pick up this palette because to me, I feel like you're actually able to create more color combinations by using that as a topper. That's awesome. So I really can't wait to play with this one. So I actually picked up a NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Vanilla. This is what I use as an eyeshadow primer and for carving out my eyebrows when I go a little too Cruella de Vil. And I love this. This is fucking great. The other thing I picked up was a Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. And this would be like the first actual product other than the air flash that I own from Dior and swatching this in the store and also Tara Lynn's video, which that bitch can sell fucking ice to Eskimos, okay? Like everything she shows, I'm like, I need to get this. I don't think she recommended this one. I think she recommended the other Glow Face palette, but that one just seemed a little bit too dark for my skin tone. So the universal one just seemed a little bit nicer for me. And this, ugh, oh my God, so fucking pretty. I cannot wait to play with this. You get two highlights in the middle, a bronzer and a blush. This might pull a little too orangey red on me, so I might just use that as an eyeshadow, but I'm gonna try it though. Blush looks very pretty and these highlights, boy, fuck me up. So the next thing I picked up are the new Flex Foundation from Milk Makeup. I don't know, so I wasn't initially going to pick this up. God damn it, this fucking packaging. But then when I was in the store the other day, I was playing around with it and I was like, ooh, I kinda like this. So I actually went initially to just go get the Flex highlight Lighter, which they didn't have in stock and I wound up ordering uh, yesterday as well. <laughs> the coverage on it, I liked how it felt on my skin. And this is in the shade Cream. It's definitely more of a neutral shade for me. And here is the concealer. And this actually feels nice too. The concealer felt really nice too. Looks like it blends nice in the skin. So the next three products is actually from the brand Kaja. And there are the Beauty Bento boxes. So I haven't heard anything about this brand, but I always see them in Sephora and I'm always interested in trying them. But honestly, the testers at the Sephora in the Midtown location is fucking disgusting. I'm definitely gonna get whooping cough if I touch one of those fucking things. They actually had this in the JCPenney Sephora and nobody finger fucked them. So I was very excited to kind of play around with these. So let me show you. I got three different bento boxes and these are actually all the shimmery ones. Orange Blossom, Toasted Caramel, and Rose Water. So this is Orange Blossom. So this is Rose Water. Last but not least, this is Toasted Caramel. And the other things that I picked up from this brand are these moon crystals. And I got it in the shades Rose Quartz and Magic. And I actually have Rose Quartz on my eyes today. There's a little like kind of trial and error when playing with these. I think I initially put too much on and then it kind of started to flake off and I used a brush which wasn't probably the smartest move. So I noticed that they actually apply really, really well if you just use your finger and you just pat them on and you let them dry and they're very comfortable. I don't have any sort of eye irritation, which is fucking wonderful. A couple of you guys asked me yesterday on my Instagram story what I have on my eyes and I actually had the magic shade on my eyes. So this is what it comes out to. Like, I mean, come on, like, are you fucking kidding me right now? That basically makes me look like a fucking witch. I love that. Like, I mean, come on. This is witchcraft bullshit. I think those retail about $18 a piece. As you can tell, I spent a lot of money and I wasn't satisfied. <laughs> so when I got home after having to take a nebulizer treatment and getting all doped up at a city MD, which was real fun, I decided to purchase a couple of other things online. So I actually picked up the Milk Makeup Flex Highlighter in the color Lit, another Kaja bento box, but this time it was a matte bento box, which was Poppy Champagne, which looks so fucking cute. I got another Moon crystal but in the color cosmic which is this beautiful green color and then i also got the kaja mochi minis bouncy wonderful highlighter and blush which i cannot wait to fucking play with i am going to make a video about kaja stuff that will definitely be happening as well as the milk makeup stuff if there's any other reviews that you want to see based off of the things that i bought i'll be more than happy to do so let's talk about what i recommend which is actually not that much because i feel like i did one of these videos a couple of months ago even if you go back to that video a couple of months ago which i'll link up in the corner you know i still technically recommend those products however I kind of would like to talk about that I've been fucking loving lately by the way I feel so disgustingly calm in these videos I think it's because I'm really doped up I don't like this I feel like uh, someone shot me with a fucking animal tranquilizer gun this is terrible in any case the primer that I've been loving lately is actually from Fenty and it's this hydrating primer and ever since I got it I've been wearing it non-stop I've been pairing it with different foundations and it's fantastic it's so good so my skin's pretty much like normal to dry and this has been a godsend 
and it actually works with a lot of different foundations that I've been testing with lately. Like right now, I actually have the Beauty Bakery foundation on right now, and I had no issues when applying this one. I used this with the NYX Born to Glow foundation the other day, the Fenty foundation. I haven't used it with the ABH foundation yet or the Tarte Found Sealer, so I'm still kind of testing it out. But honestly though, if you're looking for nice hydration to your skin, this is fucking awesome. And during the sale, I totally recommend picking this up. I'm not gonna be talking about any of the foundations that I'm trying because I'm still in the process of trying them. However, I will kind of put a footnote in here that I really do like the ABH one and I really do like the Fenty one. So if you were to pick up them during the sale, you won't be disappointed. And plus you're gonna be saving a little bit of coin, but I'm still going to create a video ranking all the different foundations I have been trying. But now that I'm sick, kind of pushes things a little bit back. So that video probably won't be out until like next week. So sorry about that. So as for powders, this is my tried and true, my fucking favorite thing. And actually I might have to use a Sephora Rouge set one more time just to buy a backup one of these because it retails for 46 dollars. I've tried so many different setting powders over the past fucking year and I found that this is the one that I keep coming back to time and time again and I think it's because it's so like finely milled. It doesn't make my skin look overly cakey or gross or anything. It settles into my skin nicely. It doesn't rest on top of it. It actually melts into my skin like butter. I fucking love it. I think it's so good and I think once I run out of all my other powders I'm never going to repurchase them again and just only purchase this one. This doesn't fail me. This works for every different foundation I've ever used. It's perfect so I have I recommend it. So the next one is actually from Fenty Beauty and it is the How Many Carrots Diamond Bomb Highlighter. So I know I have created a video about this sometime last year and I fucking love this highlighter. And I actually kind of refell in love with it because I have so many different highlighters lately. I started kind of playing around with this one again. So many of you guys have asked me in videos like, oh, what are you wearing? And it's, a lot of the times it's this one. I just love how fucking wet and slutty it looks. I definitely feel like a wet, hot alien slut. Take me to your leader so I can fuck him. I I love it so much. And it is still available online, which is super awesome. I will note though that this particular highlighter is kind of filled with glitter. And if you use it with a brush, I find that the glitter kind of goes everywhere. However, if you just pat it on with your finger, it kind of controls the glitter so it doesn't feel like it's exploding everywhere. Oh, so I just love that fucking greasy McDonald's wet look. Like I just basically just rubbed two cheeseburgers all across my fucking face. I love that. I highly recommend checking out this highlighter. It's so goddamn good. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the Natasha Denona Bloom Blush and Glow Palette. So I actually didn't purchase this palette. This was gifted to me by the wonderful Dana. Dana is the type of bitch that will just like hook a sister up. She sent me this as a housewarming gift, which I thought was really fucking sweet. She actually is also the same person that hooked me up with a lot of notoriously morbid cosmetics, which I've been meaning to do a video on, and that's coming shortly. So I apologize for the delay in that, but they got some fucking bomb ass shadows. But anyway, that's what's the point but this is fantastic so I really kind of play primarily with more of the powder side cream side I'm still kind of getting used to so let me show you the highlighter and a little blush I love it base I could mess with I could build this up to make me look like an alien slut this is something that I'm gonna have to like sheer out it's a little too Annabelle doll for me even shearing it out though it, it makes the color a little bit more manageable on my uncooked chicken ass skin so I have to say the quality on this guy is really good I'm very hit or miss when it comes to Natasha Denona but for this particular face palette it's so pretty and it holds up actually really well in this disgusting fucking humidity if you happen to be in a Sephora and they do have Natasha Denona stuff I highly recommend you swatching it and checking it out if you're ordering it online and I believe this retails for about $55 or so to me I definitely think it's worth the splurge so definitely go check that out this last product this is the thing that I actually really just I only wanted to recommend because I love it that much and I know you're gonna think I'm crazy Okay, so I'm gonna preface this by saying that everything else that I showed you, I'm fine, I love it, they're great, awesome, fucking buy them, you'll be happy. But this thing, though, is a clear fucking winner. And I realize how crazy that sounds. You guys know that I do not steer you wrong, and I would not fucking lie to you and like, and gash your head up over some bullshit. But this eyeshadow palette has become, I think, my favorite eyeshadow palette other than Lethal Cosmetics that I have played with in a long time and I would happily say that this is one of my favorite palettes of 2019 as of today okay I'm, I'm dropping that heavy claim right there because you're gonna make fun of me when you see what I bring out this palette yep <laughs> this fucking palette. So this is the Moschino and Sephora collection bare laptop palette. I have been wearing this so fucking much and everyone's just like, oh, what do you have on your face? And I'm like, this. And everyone's like, really? I'm like, yes, bitch. You get this giant full-size fucking mirror. Plus it sits perfectly. So you're able to do your makeup, which is fucking great. You get about 30 shades. You get this really cool color switch down here that's in the shape of a bear. That's so fucking adorable. So the reason why I picked up this palette actually is from a beauty blogger that I follow. Her name is Ashley, but she goes by 
All Things Makeup 99, and I'll link her up here. She swatched this, and I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and she privately messaged me, and she's like, it's the fucking Bear Palette. You should go check it out. So I actually wound up picking this up during the last Sephora sale. And out of all the things that I picked up during that sale, besides the Fenty Bronzer, I use this all the time. And I never created a video on it because I thought it, they didn't sell it anymore. Turns out they do sell it, but only online. They So they sell this online for $60. $60 price point, I would happily pay for. That is how much I love it. At a discount, that much fucking better. So if you were to pick this up during the sale, you will not be disappointed. So actually, let me just show you some colors. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick silver color that is literally so fucking blinding, bitch. Like, I fucking can't. Like, fuck me up, bitch. So I just picked a handful of colors in here. But like, are you fucking kidding me right now? If you were gonna pick up anything out of this sale, get this, this is so fucking good. It's disgusting how fucking good it is. And what I like about this palette is that you have a lot of variety here. So you have your neutrals, you have your colors, you have your good shimmers, mattes. I have no issue with this palette. This palette lasts all day. My last two videos I did, the bougie makeup tag and the spooky makeup tag, I created that look with this palette. And actually the purple look that I did for the Fenty one, I created that look with this fucking palette. The Dur ability in these shadows are top-notch they have a beautiful pigment I don't get any sort of eye irritation with them the mattes blend so seamlessly together however I will note that there's a handful of shadows that are not as pigmented as say like their brother or sister but you could build them up and you could still get the same sort of intensity as you would with the other shadows it's kind of more of the purple shadows I found that with but that's usually the case with purple eyeshadows because they usually are very difficult to make and this is a good fucking yellow it's a really good mustardy yellow like I mentioned and I'll keep seeing this fucking praises for this goddamn palette but if you were gonna get anything just get this fuck everything else I just said just get that palette I swear to god you'll fucking love it <laughs> mark my words now I want to hear from you guys. Are you going to be picking up anything during the sale? Do you have any of the things that I recommended? Or do you have any of the things that I picked up? Or do you have any recommendations for me? And before I go, I just want to know that you shouldn't have to put yourself into debt because of the sale. So don't do that. So keep in mind everything that I recommended to you guys. I don't want you to feel that you need to rush out and buy it. They're just friendly recommendations. If you don't get it, it's not the end of the fucking world. Buy the things that you want to buy them and shop smart and responsibly. Do not put yourself into debt. And on that note, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's fucking free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Discord. On Thursdays, we have a podcast called The Miserable Three. And sometimes I like to take over my husband's Twitch channel where I play Barbie supermodel and yell about things on the internet. And again, thank you for listening to me with a sore fucking throat. I appreciate and love you all. So on that note, I will see you little pumpkins later. Bye.